John Russell Hauser is a man who just recently in Lafayette, Louisiana, went to a movie theater, took a gun, killed two women, injured a bunch of others, and then took his own life. The man was a known anti-Semite and a very virulent anti-feminist. But the police, however, can't seem to find a reason why he shot up this theater. This is what the police, the Louisiana State Police, actually said. Why did he come here? Why did he do that? We may not find a motive. So basically what the police are saying, why did a guy who was a known anti-feminist and anti-Semite go to a movie screening of a feminist movie by a feminist comedian, Amy Schumer, who has a Jewish father, proceed to shoot a bunch of women? No particular reason actually comes to his mind when he thinks of that, just nothing at all. I mean, this is just another way for him to say, well, we haven't found a way to make sure that we can blame this on anything but patriarchy yet. When you see these moments, something so blatantly obvious, a guy who hates women, who hates feminists, goes to a feminist movie by a feminist comedian and kills women there but they can't seem to understand why he did it. Think about that. Think about the seriousness of that. This guy was on local television all the time ranting about women. He had previously made threats against women. Uh, a woman had been killed and he came up and he said, well, if we don't start changing the way things are, the degeneracy in this country, this is gonna happen more often and maybe this kind of thing needs to happen but they can't think of a reason why this guy would shoot up a bunch of women. Really? I don't even really know what to say here. It's just so absolutely astounding that they can't think of any reason why he would do this, even when it's so glaringly right in their face, when it is so obvious that this guy was motivated to kill women by an irrational hatred of women. And then the media turns around and says, well, oh, he has a history of saying anti-feminist things. No kidding, haven't you been paying attention? It's just absolutely mind-blowing to me that they can't figure out why he would do this when it's staring them right in the face. If this isn't a prime example of patriarchy, then I don't know what is. To literally commit crimes against women, having basically said that you hate women, and then still not understand why he did it, I can't think of any greater example of, of self-delusion coming about as a result of patriarchy. I just got one more thing to add. Even Roger Elliott, the guy before going up and shooting a bunch of women, complained how they didn't like him, didn't want to be with him, and that he was still a virgin at his age, and that he felt these women were too stuck up because they didn't want to have sex with him. I'm the supreme gentleman, blah, blah, blah. And they still tried to go for mental illness. The guy literally, recorded a manifesto of why he was pissed off at women right before he shot them up and killed them and the media still tried to blame mental illness. This is a repeated pattern here. It's not just this, this one guy in Louisiana. It's Roger Elliott and it's other incidences all the time. In fact, men killing women is so common that it frequently doesn't even make the news in many states. It's just mind-blowing to me that this can be so blatantly in front of everyone's eyes and yet they just still don't see it.